Imagine this, sophisticated frigates, patrol ships, and even aircraft carriers with all their glory as the deadliest naval weapons of the seas, and intriguing capability of intercepting ultra-expensive missiles and torpedoes up to tens of kilometers away are becoming increasingly susceptible to a small, stealthy, and cheap weapon called Unmanned Surface Vehicles, or USVs. While USVs have been around for a while, they were used for the first time in October 2022, when the Ukrainian Navy made a multi-USV attack on Russian naval vessels at the Sevastopol naval base. This attack represents the first use of unmanned surface vehicles in naval warfare and proved that such weapons are no joke and worth the investment. While Ukraine did develop its own USVs, it's believed that their design is based on the Turkish NATO-compatible USV Albatross T. The acceptable level of success of Ukraine's USVs created a huge buzz across the global military-industrial complex, as these drones are now expected to change how naval warfare is perceived and conducted. What are unmanned surface vehicles, and what are some of the most notoriously effective ones out there? Let's clear the air by clarifying that there are four different types of unmanned vehicles. As we said earlier, unmanned surface vehicles or USVs, which are the core of today's topic, are the ones that operate on water surfaces like boats. The other three are unmanned underwater vehicles or UUVs, which are submersibles and operate like submarines below water, unmanned ground vehicles or UGVs, which operate on the ground, and of course the fourth type is the notorious unmanned aerial vehicles, which operate in the air like planes. So what are USVs? They're simply unmanned surface vehicles, also known as uncrewed surface vessels, and some like to call them sea drones. They are autonomous vessels that operate on surface waters without needing a crew or any human to be on board. USVs fall into two categories, remotely operated vehicles which are controlled by a person via satellite link, interchangeable radio frequencies, or even Wi-Fi signals because that's how Ukraine operated its USVs by utilizing Elon Musk's Starlink internet satellites, which are owned by SpaceX. Or they can be completely autonomous vehicles, which means fully controlled by AI and conduct missions based on programmed parameters. These two types of USVs function robotically and automatically come equipped with various types of observational tools, such as cameras, sensors, and other measuring equipment. Military applications for USVs include powered seaborne targets and mine hunting, as well as surveillance and reconnaissance, strike operations, and area denial or sea denial, which is a military strategy to control access to and within an operating environment. We do have to clarify here that the Ukrainian USVs are kamikazes, meaning they do not actually fire missiles or any type of projectiles, but are rather equipped with triggers that once collide with an enemy ship, detonate the payload, which consists of up to 450 kilograms of explosives, which are heavy enough to destroy small naval ships or damage larger frigates and patrol ships, but would not leave a scratch on aircraft carriers and large destroyers, which boast very thick multi-layer hulls that are very hard to penetrate. The United States was perhaps one of the first pioneers of advanced attack USVs. In 2016, the US Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, which is a very secretive research and development agency of the United States Department of Defense, launched an anti-submarine USV. Their goal was to create an effective and stealthy USV specifically designed to stalk and hunt submarines. Their first success was a prototype called Sea Hunter, which was christened on April 17, 2016, in Portland, Oregon. Sea Hunter is classified as a Class 3 USV. Other USVs that followed include Sea Shadow, Sea Fighter, Sea Jet, and Sea Slice. Mind that all of these USVs are rather large and sort of experimental. Technically speaking, they're big enough to be called unmanned frigates. For example, the self-piloting Sea Hunter is a 40-meter-long trimaran, meaning it has a central hull with two outriggers. It's powered by two diesel engines with a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour and weighs 135 tons including 40 tons of fuel, adequate for a 70-day cruise. It also has a range of 19,000 kilometers without refueling and can sail through storms with waves up to 6.1 meters high and very strong winds. However, Turkey is the country that's been building smaller USVs for more than a decade via the Turkish firm Aselsan, which produced the NATO-compatible Albatross T, Albatross K, Levant, and notoriously deadly ULAQ. Albatross K is a high-speed unmanned surface target boat specially developed for the purpose of utilization as a moving target for artillery and guided missile shooting drills for naval forces. So technically, it is a target USV, but can be modified for attack purposes. 
It can be used with autonomous, semi-autonomous, or remote commands and has a user-friendly interface. It's been described as smart, fast, maneuverable, and stealthy. It's also much smaller than the American Sea Hunter. It has a width of 4.5 meters, a length of 10 meters, weighs about 5 tons, a speed about 65 kilometers per hour, and is powered by two diesel engines. We did mention earlier that the Ukrainian-made USVs seem to be quite similar to a particular sea drone made by Turkey. We actually wouldn't be surprised if the two countries coordinated the design, since they do have some cooperation in this area with some Turkish aerial drones still getting their engines from Ukraine, despite the war. Anyway, the Ukrainian sea drones might be modified Turkish-made Albatross TUSVs, which are 1.65 meters wide, 5.5 meters long, weigh 950 kilometers, have a max speed of 75 kilometers per hour, and are powered by an internal diesel engine. This USV also has a system for transmitting the shot hit image to the control station in real time for damage assessment. Another notable Turkish-made USV is the Levant, which is great for recon and intelligence gathering operations, but like the Albatross K and T variants, is not officially designed for attack missions. However, Turkey does make the attack USV called the ULAQ. The ULAQ is about 11 meters long, has a top speed of 65 kilometers per hour, an impressive range of up to 400 kilometers, can carry up to 2 tons, and can be armed with 4 laser-guided rocket sun turret missiles and 2 laser-guided long-range anti-tank missile systems. The ULAQ represents the first of a series of attack unmanned surface vehicles, or AUSVs, of Turkey. It was developed for the Turkish Navy by Ares Shipyard and Metexan Defense Systems. The ULAQ can be deployed from combat ships, thus allowing frigates and destroyers to engage land, air, and sea targets more than 200 kilometers away without being discovered and return to base on one fuel tank. This vessel is truly intriguing and is made from the most advanced composite materials that enhance its stealth capabilities. It can be called the Ninja of USVs, since it can be controlled remotely from mobile vehicles, headquarters, command centers, and floating platforms while conducting any type of mission, including reconnaissance, surveillance and intelligence, surface warfare, asymmetric warfare, armed escort, and force protection, and strategic facility security. It can also be used in conjunction with aerial drone assaults, and it also comes in six different variants, each with its own type of armament. Technically speaking, one of these deadly AUSVs can sneak up on an aircraft carrier or nuclear submarine and fire a powerful advanced two-ton torpedo, thus rendering the submarine or aircraft carrier either destroyed or at least heavily damaged. This is quite possible because it features sophisticated encrypted communications and day-night vision capabilities, and is resistant to electronic warfare, equipped with an anti-GPS jammer device, and not to mention, is very fast. And we forgot to mention that it can operate in rough seas and slice through up to 5 meters high waves during rough storms. Indeed, USVs are a disruptive force that is already shaping the future of naval warfare, and countries are already racing to develop or at least acquire such deadly machines. This fact was further enhanced by the utilization of rather primitive, cheap USVs by Ukraine against the mighty Russian Navy. This fact left no doubt that such a weapon is a necessity and can make or break an entire navy during wartime. What do you think of USVs and the Turkish-made ones in particular? Let us know in the comments section, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video.